So what attracted each of you to this project? I'll start with you, Archie. I thought the script was very interesting, the people attached to it, um, and the role. And I'd never really done um, an action-adventure movie before. And if I didn't do it, I know my 10-year-old nephew would never speak to me again, declining to work, declining to do a film with Dwayne Johnson. And what about you, Paul? Kind of all the same. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He was really, a, I mean, that was a big draw to me. Mm -hmm. I think he's great. And I like doing things. I haven't done a whole lot of things like this, but I also liked that it was a throwback to those kind of old-fashioned sort of mm -hmm. disaster movies. And, yeah, that was, that was appealing to me. Now tell us a little bit about your characters. I'll start with you. Uh, I, play eminent, I play an eminent Caltech seismologist, top of his field. And uh, he's developed with his partner uh, uh, an ability to predict earthquakes. So he knows that, I mean, it's not, um, it's not far enough out, but he knows far enough ahead of time, but he knows the thing's coming. And so he has to deal with all of that back at Caltech and sort of warning people about how bad it's actually going to get. Did you have to do, did you do a lot of research? I did some, yeah. I mean, it was, that was another thing that was interesting to me about it. I was like, oh, I get to read about uh, earthquakes. I get to learn about this stuff. So I did some, and I watched some of these guys. It, you know, it's amazing what's on the internet. The internet's an incredible <laughs> thing. Have you tried it? About you actually, anything. yeah, I mean, it's incredible. So I, so I watched some seismologists and stuff like that. So yeah, it was cool. Yeah. yeah. And tell us about your character. <clears throat> so I play um, Serena Johnson, and she's a TV journalist. And I first get to meet Lawrence when I'm doing a segment on the uh, recent earthquake that happens in Nevada. And then within like a few hours of being, a few minutes of doing the interview, yes. right, his, all the information in Caltech starts to indicate that the San Andreas Fault is going to trigger off. Mm. So I find myself in the midst of this massive earthquake. And then together we have to report, cover this entire story, which is like the biggest story of my career. Now, I know that there was some CGI in the film, but also that the Brad wanted to make this a little more real and authentic. So did you need to do any physical preparation for this where you bounced around a few times? I mean, what was, what was the, those moments <laughs> like when you were in camera? Well, the whole, we were in Caltech a lot, and that set was shaking a lot, and lots of the, the ceiling, across, the ceiling was falling down, and we were told you may have a little bit of things moving, but we were, certainly weren't prepared for no. the level of which they moved, which was a good thing, right? Yep. Because it helped, you know. No, yep. well, no, you had a real reaction. The first it, it time helped. it went, it was just ridiculous. Yeah. It was crazy, and I mean, those tables were going nuts, and so it was really good. It made yeah. you feel, yeah. Frightening, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At any time when, when you were going through this, did you actually think what you would do in an actual situation like this? Did it make you think about that? I think when something like that happens, your first reaction is like, what the hell is going on? Yeah. Like your body just seizes up. What yeah. do you do? Yeah, I would and then you, know, you start like, yeah. thinking, what, what's the best thing to do in these circumstances? Yeah. But thankfully, I was being guided by the seismologist. I have an seismologist, <laughs> yes. And but I, I learned that you don't go under a door, which I had always thought was the thing you were supposed to do. But I guess that's changed. Mm -hmm. I mean, at one time, that's what you were supposed to do. Yeah, not anymore. Not anymore. I don't know why that is. Neither do I. Mm. I don't either. So. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> no, I learned that from you in the film, too. Consensus, I, yes. <laughs> yes. So what do you think is going to make this uh, film attract audiences of all ages? I suppose it's, I suppose people, it's thrilling to people just in the first place. You it's know, a terrifying it's story. Trauma. I think it will keep people at the edge of their feet. Yeah. I also think, you know, they're going to be quite emotionally invested mm -hmm. in some of the characters. That's but I certainly think it's going to leave people with a lot of questions when they leave the cinema. You know, how prepared am I for a disaster like mm -hmm. this? And how powerful Mother Nature is? And maybe how grateful I should be for what I have? Because who knows what tomorrow's going to bring? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's great. Well, thank you. That was yeah, fantastic. Thank you. Nice thank you. to be